Sagittarius, you are the kings and queens and this month of December is your month, loves. Let's see what is going on and of course, who is coming towards you, what is coming towards you in the month of December with a new moon in your zodiac sign on the 4th and a full moon on the 18th in Cancerian speaks quite a lot. So loves, enjoy this energy and let's see who is that person, what is that energy that's coming to you or whatever is into the energies that are heading towards you. You might see, you might do not. I have the angels, guidance, oracles, which we'll look into at the end of the reading. And I have the radiant wise spirit tarot for you, for the messages from the tarot and the spirit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see here, Sag. If you are coming in here, for whatever reason, by the title or feel pull into the reading to see what is coming or who is coming you know there is a message there for you let's see loves an overarching energy for the reading look at you you're ready to manifest your dream life magician speaks very strong that whatever you put your mind to you can achieve Strike fast, strike far, and know that you are able. And the fool underneath, give yourself that chance, take that leap of faith, take that risk. It's worth it. And nonetheless, I may speak here with a single Sagittarian. Look at you. Indeed, here you are single. We'll do singles a little later, but now we're looking. Either you are having somebody or you have somebody into your life or even into your mind. I feel here this is your reading. There is a water sign ar around you. There is an offer given to you. Let's see. Ace of Cups. Three of Swords. Hierophant, Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, Six of Cups. Goodness, how many Cups? Two of Wands and Page of Wands. I do see here Water Energy. Could be another fire energy or a Taurus energy. But I feel here there's something here offered and probably were not taken into the past. And were not taken because somebody here were not clear where they are. Look how many cops here in the past. Such an emotional energy with whoever you are dealing with. But look at here, there is, for some of you, a decision to be taken quite quickly about this. And Ten of, Pan, Ten of Cups speaks about Twin Flame energy, but Ten of Cups speaks about happiness, contentment. What I'm seeing here for many, many of you... <coughs> There is healing coming. There is movement coming. I feel here for some of you, you, you need to get clarity. And see where are you going. Swords wise, we have just three of swords. And the rest we have wands and cups. Which I'm feeling here, this is you, loves. 
trying to get on a level of balance and stability. For um, some of you Sagittarius, feeling like if to have a real, to have a stable commitment, it's so much work. And the fool and magician is like, you manifest, you can have it, but you got to take it slow as well. Be easy on you. Clarifying the three of swords, it's four of swords. Take your time and heal your heart as well, those thoughts you have. Four of Swords and Three of Swords makes the Seven of Swords. For some of you, you could be dealing here with somebody who lied to you or was a player. Take your time and heal those thoughts as well, those traits. Because you know, with no healing, you are going to repeat the same thing. And that could be the trust issues. Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Where can I find that person who is stable or who wants to be stable? Because for some of you, there is a lot of energies around you. There are people around you. But you are not quite sure which one you want. Be clear. When you manifest certain things, and probably I'll do an, <clears throat> um, a video about manifesting, being asked for quite a lot about this, and I will gather all what I need, and I'll do that. Be clear, Sag, what I you want from who you want. Because you do have options, but you gotta be out there clear. Look at here, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords is missing, which Ten of Swords speaks about whatever happened, whatever betrayal you've gone through, it's time to let it go. That chapter is done and over. Put that burden down. Ten of Wands clarifying Two of Cups. Putting that burden down, you attract naturally new love. And it's your decision. This is something here happened in your past. Six of Cups speaking off. Nine of Wands. Don't resist it. Don't live in the past loves. One more card. Eight of Pentacles. It's like don't resist the universe to offer you work with the universe. As well, Eight of Pentacles many times is not something here that I'm working on, but it's many times like I'm learning. Learn from the past. Don't resist the past. And Page of Wands, speaking of, you see, Seven of Swords, Emperor, and Six of Wands. Because I'm feeling here, you are Emperor, it is coming. Your person is coming. And you can succeed. But are you honest that you want that? For some of you telling yourself, I overcome this, are you honest with yourself? Or are you just saying, just because? One more card. King of Swords. And the King of Swords speaks that. Put your plans out there. Start making plans, loves. Because your plans could be quite fruitful, but again, you gotta be honest with yourself. Whatever decision you are making it, take your time. 
Take your time. So I'm feeling here there's a Sag who tries to move on from a situation. There is new love. For some of you, I do see here into your future, uh, Taurus and Aries, a Leo or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So whatever is here, whatever you need to live behind. And forgiveness. For some of you, this person might be quite loving or lovable. Advice for the Sages. Chariot. Cancerian energy. We have a full moon in Cancer at the end of the month, on the 18. And the chariot speaks strongly about move don't stay don't procrastinate there's not a good time it's your season you are the king you are the queen go ahead look at this sun loves there's a rebirth there is a move for some of you this person could have could be a cancer sun could be uh, in their moon Leo could be their moon in Aquarius, Aries, or Taurus. Three of Cups. It's like by the next holiday, which is by the Christmas or by the full moon. And Ace of Wands and Strength. You now see. You now way more mature. You got this, Sagittarius. Whatsoever, what I'm seeing here, loves, for many of you, go ahead, be consistent, learn from the past, whatever it was, and pay attention to those signs that are coming to you, because I feel here there is certain red flags you need to pay attention. Those are the tests. Indeed, here I do see people coming forward. And I feel here you might feel like this is the one. Pay attention to their traits. All right, loves. Because I feel here you now are way stronger. You're coming from a point of strength not from a point of weakness another thing here there is a relationship here which comes to you but what i'm seeing here for this relationship is kind of like show maturity show determination do you put yourself number one in everything and see how the other will treat you show confidence and stick with that it's like let the energy come to you so you could know that actually this energy is for you and want to stay very strong and beautiful energy here let's see I feel here whoever comes to you, Sagittarius, is a soulmate, is somebody mature, but at the same time, they are required the same. If you are playing your cards quite well, this is a very, very long term energy. You could even marry this person. release and surrender this is your oracle advice we shower you with blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands 
Open your hands, arms and heart to our love and assistance. So here he is, loves. Go for it and see only love. Whatever he is. Ask your angels for who you want to attract and go for them. See here, we have a wedding. If you ask for a stable partner, they are coming. And you might be quite surprised that this month is actually the month full of surprises. Play your cards well, loves. Because whatever you manifest can be a reality. Sagis, that's what is coming towards you in the month of December. And this person could have these traits or they might be actually this way. Enjoy, loves. And if this reading speaks to you, or brings you any insights, let me know down below in the comments. Your feedback is very much valid. As well, don't hesitate to subscribe, like, and share this video. See ya, loves. Have a beautiful month ahead. Till the next time. Namaste.